This question is from Gate 2022, Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 2, Question number 51. A rigid beam AD of length 3A equal to 6 meter is hinged at frictionless pin joint A and supported by two strings as shown in the figure. String BC passes over two small frictionless pulleys of negligible radius. All the strings are made up of the same material and have equal cross-sectional area. A force F equal to 9 kN is applied at C and the resulting stresses in the strings are within a linear elastic limit. The self-weight of the beam is negligible with respect to the applied load. Assuming small deflections, the tension developed in the string at C is dash kN, rounded off to two decimal places. Let's find out. Now if we try to draw the deflected curve of this structure due to this force F, we'll get it as this. So we can take the deflection at point B, B delta B, deflection at C, B delta C and deflection at D, B delta D. As we know the distances, we can use the similar triangle to calculate these deflections here. So we can calculate the ratios here, delta D by delta B will be equal to 3A by A, which is nothing but 3. So we get a relationship delta D equal to 3 times delta B. Also let tension in BC be T1 while tension in rope D be T2. So we can write the moment equilibrium equation, summation of moment about point A should be equal to 0 for the equilibrium of system and therefore we can write T1 into A plus T1 into 2A plus T2 into 3A. Now F is creating a clockwise moment. These three were creating anticlockwise moment and therefore we took it as positive. F is creating a clockwise moment. So that will be minus F times 2A. This will be equal to 0. This gives us 3A T1 plus 3A T2 will be equal to F into 2A. We need to establish a relationship between T1 and T2 in order to find out T1. We can write down delta in terms of T. These ropes are axial members because they will only be strained axially. Also they can take only axial loads and therefore we can write deflection in the string or deflection in the ropes delta B to B T1 into L by A. This is a standard formula you must know. It comes from the relationship between axial stress and axial strain. We can also write delta D as T2L upon AE. A and E both are given equal for both the ropes. So from here we will get the relationship between T1 and T2 as delta D is 3 times delta B. Therefore we can substitute it over here. So if we take the ratio delta D upon delta B, this will be equal to 3, which will be equal to, we will have to take the ratios of the right hand side as well. So this will be T2 upon T1. And therefore we have T2 is equal to 3 times T1. Substituting this value in this equation that we got from the moment equilibrium, we will have, in the place of T2, we will substitute 3 times T1. So we have, 3A T1 plus 9A T1 which is 12A T1 but we can cancel out A from both sides we will have 12 T1 will be equal to 2F and therefore T1 will be equal to F by 6. Now value of F is given to us so from there we can find T1 as F is 9 kN by 6 which is 1.5 kN. Let's go back and fill in this answer. So tension developed in string C which we took as T1 is 1.5 kN. To learn more about stress and strain, you can refer to the NPTEL video, Lecture 7, Concept of Stress and Strain. It is from the course Theory of Elasticity. This course is taught by Professor Amit Shaw. He is from Department of Civil Engineering of IIT Kharagpur. I hope this solution helps you clear your doubt. Thank you.